Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Saturday morning, I believe it's the 16th, March 16th. Just got done raining real heavy for about six, seven hours. Maybe stopped about a half hour ago. And uh, lots of lightning. The wind was really heavy. You can see those palm trees up there kind of getting blown all over the place and I've seen a lot of debris around as far as uh, signs from stores getting blown over and there's a, some blown over signs right there and there's some uh, chairs blown around from the restaurant there are signs down they have some outdoor seating that looks like it took a beating right last night the oil house It was really good sleeping weather. That constant rain and it's uh, it's 8.16 a.m. and it looks much earlier than that. But there is a little bit of clear patch in the sky and we are supposed to be done with uh, rain. Now oh, look, this looks some changes right here. Interesting to me. This is the old Klein building. What business has already come and gone since they moved it here. And it's going to reopen a new business, Picnic. P-I-K-N-I-K. Culinary Market, Wine Deli. That's pretty interesting. And I know it used to be uh, different restaurants at some point, so that's kind of along the same theme. We've got some new paint. Pretty cool well, to see I guess what the left happens side here. is the Tiki Boutique. Let's call it the Tiki Boutique. Rockport, Texas. And then on the right, Crazy Crab Shack Candy. Crazy Crab Shack Candy. Dippin' Dots, Taffy, Candy, Snacks, Drinks. There you go. Kids, come get some candy. <laughs> I like Another the paint job. The beautiful ones. murals very done cool. in the downtown area. Looks like they're working hard to make some improvements. And the high tide beach and people more reasons to come to Rockport. Well, that's new. We were in that building before. Uh, Wayne did a book signing there, right? The coastal. We've been in there, a historic building, it's got a marker, here comes a truck, because <laughs> it's Texas, new beginnings, I believe this is a private art gallery, Mason, if I'm saying that right, Songbird Chic, looks like they got some interesting things in there, I don't know if I've ever been in there, at least while it was that business. The Mermaid Ranch, which is like a clothing boutique. I don't know what this green building is. I don't see any signs. Rockport Living, another boutique type store. Looks like they have clothes and knickknacks and things like that. And then yeah, you can yeah, tell by the white caps and the wave that, yeah, the wind is really kicking up. but. There's a clear patch of sky over there, so I thought I might get some footage of that before it went away. Not sure what kind of day it's going to be behind you rock bottom. Hard to check. It's uh, now 8.26 on the Saturday morning. Not much of a crowd there. There's the Boyle house again, and we had shown uh, a few minutes ago there. Chairs blown all over. Signs blown down. A Vividity Hair Salon. Okay. I don't need that. Beach something behind the palm tree. Beach House. Salt Flats Gallery. Pretty neat. This always used to be a jewelry repair place and uh, sold watches and jewelry. The Lighthouse Christian Gathering. Hmm. I think it was a lawyer's office for a while too, somewhere in there. 
This looks like it used to be an empty gas station from years and years ago. I'm gonna let a car pass me. There we go. Don't worry, Calvin, it's it's not FedEx. We're safe. <laughs> Treasure Islander. Good little uh, souvenir shop and it's got the murals on the side. There's the, the candy store and the boutique we saw earlier. Coastal Art Market. Taffy. Cezanne, art and jewelry. Attitudes and latitudes. The salty, I can't read it, wind and way gallery. Magnolias 2, T-W-O. Going coastal. Outfitters. Looks like a nice place. Then down the end here, you got the Playhouse, Rockport Little Theater, and then uh, Latitude 2802 Coastal Cuisine, and they have art, and that is, I only got to eat there once, and high-end service, really good food, and then Pet Wants, ooh, what is Pet Wants, is that new? Nutrition you can trust. Pet once. So, pet food. Then over there, they got the, the courthouse and the uh, uh, city hall they're working on. Boy, they're getting up there with those towers and the scaffolding. We might catch huh? some wind here, but now that the rain ended, they're starting to set up for day two of uh, the farmer's market. And I imagine a lot of these little tents took a beating overnight in that wind. Yeah, this big tent is, I don't know if it's down or if they took it down before the wind started, but when we left here last night, this was up and they had a band in there and people were eating. This isn't part of the crawfish festival. This is a regularly scheduled thing. Every third Saturday of the month, they have a flea market here, right on the property of the uh, navigation fairgrounds. The sky's not looking too bad, though. What I did want to show you turned out to be a decent it's day. Kind of a surprise to me. When we were talking to Luciana the other day, this whole area was covered in construction equipment, and several people mentioned why would they do that on spring break. Well, no sign of construction equipment. Looks like they got the black top in. They also put in some large rocks on the other side of the seawall there. And uh, yeah, lots of parking for actually looks nice. The events coming out that way. <laughs> cool. Got the wind on the other side of the truck. A little filming trick I try to use is just have one window open and film out that window and try to uh, use my truck as a big windscreen. But if you can spot those flags in the distance on the other side of the harbor there, you can see everything is whipping around. Well, it's that time of the day. You ready? I asked my wife if I was the only one she'd been with. She said yes. All the others had been nines and tens. <laughs> That's actually, that's actually really funny. That wasn't very loud. I wonder if the batteries are dying already. And yep, it's turned all the way up. That's actually a pretty good joke. I approve. I know it's said that one before, but it doesn't say it that often. Usually we get the uh, jokes about handicapped people and flamingos. <laughs> Standing on one leg. Here's a, it's a B plus. Trail light B plus it says on it. Empty spot. Pretty rare we see an empty spot right there. I don't recall what's usually there either. Probably, probably two boats. 
but I do to like enjoy coming to the harbor. You know, I had a bunch of people stop and say hello the last few days. Had some good conversations with people. And, uh, yeah, it's always nice. I got my new tablet working, so overnight I was able to run playlists for a bunch of people. And I was able to uh, read part of a book that I downloaded. I think it's called Tammy by Stephen King. Don't you love that I spent time picking out something to read? Downloaded it from the library. I've already read about 25 pages and, and I still don't know what the name of the book is. <laughs> and I've been watching a show on Netflix called The Tourist. I watched the first season. It was only six episodes uh, set in Australia. Kind of a mystery type of thing. Police uh, crime type thing. And then, um, well, guys, Rockport, I think I've watched the first really two crowded seasons yesterday so when I left. Probably somewhere around 5 30, 6 o'clock. I'm sure if the weather clears up a little bit, it'll be busy today. It's the last Saturday of spring break. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got wind and waves. That water's real shallow, so you know when you get some waves like that, the wind is real strong. But hopefully those clear skies will spread out everywhere and we'll have a good day. Thanks for riding along. Stay blessed. Thanks for